Track 3.13, Unit 7, Vocabulary and Listening, Exercise 2. Good morning and welcome to Back to the Future. My name is Fiona Miles and at the moment I'm in front of the Nurelem building in Astana, Kazakhstan. My guest today is the engineer Samat Alibayev. We're going to visit the Museum of Future which is inside the Nuralem, and we're going to talk about the future of transport. Good morning, Fiona. So, Samat, how did you get here today? Is that red car yours? Yes, it's an electric car, which I bought several months ago. What are the main differences between electric cars and petrol cars? Electric cars don't pollute the environment. Also, they are much quieter. Can you show me how to drive it? Of course. It isn't very difficult. First, put on your seatbelt. Mm-hmm. Now, start the car. No, don't press that button. Uh, Be careful. It starts faster than a petrol car. Amazing. It's very quiet. Are electric cars good for long-distance journeys? Yes, they are. When I was at the Expo 2017 World Fair... I met a Swiss couple, Benedict and Magda, who had travelled by electric car from Zurich to Astana. That's more than 5,000 kilometres, and the car never broke down. What about driverless cars? Have you ever been in one? No, but I've driven a solar-powered car. You'll see one in the Museum of Future later. I recently watched a science fiction film in which the main character travelled in a space elevator. He took off from a station near the equator and went up to the moon in about 15 minutes. Don't believe everything you see in science fiction films. <laughs> a space elevator might be possible one day, but we don't have the materials and technology to build one yet. Oh, we should probably turn back and go to the museum now. Do you know the way? Yes. Go down this street, then turn left after the traffic lights and... Uh, OK. I'll pull off here and you can drive instead.